right, guys. So here is my LG Ultimate 2 repair video. Um, this is a TrackPhone LG Ultimate 2, sells for about $120 online. Um, this one, the digitizer is broken. As you can see, the phone still boots up, but the touchscreen gives off no signal whatsoever. Now, this is actually a replacement Chinese touchscreen. It already been smashed once and replaced once. So this cheap touchscreen stopped working about a month after I put it on there. Um, and it actually decided to break the entire cable up top here. So I can actually just remove this entire digitizer. Um, I'm not actually going to be putting another one in this, but I was online trying to figure out how to replace it when it smashed the first time. So I wanted to show you guys how I did it, how everything went on it, and how I'm going to, how I replaced it the first time. Alright, so let's power off the phone. Oh, yeah. Have to remove the battery to power off the phone, and now the digitizer doesn't work. So, I'm going to pop the battery out there. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove any SIM card that's up here in that spot. Um, after that's done, you're going to be just start taking off the screws in the back here. Um, these are all standard Phillips. It's going to just take a little um, J000 screwdriver tip. So here's that. Um, I don't care about the touch screen um, getting scratched at all because there's no screen protector on this. But most of the time, if you really cared about your touch screen, you're going to put something soft down underneath there. Um, but since tell I don't care about it, I'm not going to do that. And there's a bunch of screws in here. There's one in all the corners. There's like five up top here. Things you're going to want to be aware of when doing this. Um, there's this little black piece right down here. This piece will actually come right off. This is your um, cover for your power supply here. It's also the antenna. As you can see there's like that little metal chip there. Okay, we'll take that off in a second. So once you have all the screws out, you're going to want to get a guitar pick or a case opener tool. I like case opener tools, but guitar picks work just as well. Um, you're going to want to be careful taking off that little silver plastic back cover. Um, I like to use uh, the metal case openers, even if they can do a little bit more damage. If you're careful, you're not going to hurt anything. So you're going to want to see if there's any place you can get your case opener tool underneath this piece between those two lips. So I'm going to try getting into it right up here. And you can hear the little pops of the clips coming up. You're going to want to work your way around. Be kind of careful around the buttons. Don't want those to come out. Be pretty careful around that power port right down there. Uh, and this opens up the back of the phone. So here we can see we have all of our nice little connectors and all the fun stuff, all the guts of the phone. Um, LG did something a little bit interesting here. There's actually, there's your vibrator right there. And here is your back speaker. So they're not actually attached to the motherboard, which is really nice. It makes it easier to work on. But since how we're replacing the screen itself, what we really want to be focusing on is this part of up here. Now right here, this little clip, or this little uh, connector, that is where your cord goes for your digitizer. So once you have this out, which like I showed you earlier, this one's broken, that's where you want to unclip. Then we gotta flip, we're going to flip over the phone. Now to get the screen off when it's glued down, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to see if you can heat up some of these edges. I did this one without heat because it was already smashed. And it came out pretty easy. It came out really easy. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to actually just, the easiest way to get into the screen is just to push your uh, connect, push your uh, case opener right underneath your speaker port. It's not going to damage your speaker, it's not going to hurt anything. So if you just stick it underneath there, you're going to want to work your way around very, very carefully. And there's going to be glue all the way around up on here. So you don't really care about keeping this screen, but you do not want to hurt the actual LCD screen behind this. That's going to be your big thing. So once you once you start working your way around up here, you're gonna feel quite a little bit of resistance. You know, keep it going, keep it going. Down here, you're gonna want to be careful of this home button right there. Um, you don't want to put too much pressure down; that can break it. And you don't want to, you know, stick it way over in there. So you're just gonna want to keep on going, keep on going. Once you get all the way around the edge, this is actually gonna come off. Now the way this is supposed to look up here is this is actually supposed to be connected right there. Mine decided to melt off because it got so hot and it's actually going to look like this, sorry. So this little piece, once you have your new digitizer, it's going to go through right up there. When we flip back over the phone, we're going to see that it will have plenty of room just to snap right down over here. So that's where that goes. So when you replace it, you're just going to take this, which this will be attached. You're going to set it on there, nice and easy. Try and get no smudges on this back side of the screen. Doesn't matter about the front. You just want to, you're going to want to feed this cable right through up there. You're going to want to set this on there. It's going to almost pop down into place. Almost pop down. So once you set that on there, this will be fed through right up top over here. You're just going to have to want to clip that right on there. You're going to hear a little pop when it actually does clip in. Just like that. Now I'm just going to fold that connector up in there. After that, you're going to just take this piece right over it. You're going to set that right down. You'll just hear the pops going all the way up and down the phone itself. So there we go. That looks pretty good. Then you want to put your screws all back in. And the toolkit I'm using for this particular phone that I'm using, that I'm working on right now, I'm using an iFixit tool set. Um, it's about ninety dollars online. Best piece of equipment I have ever bought in my life. I can take out apart almost anything with it. Um, it has all the Nintendos. It has all the uh, Apple drivers. It's really nice. Large fingers are not helping me here, but this is just like the most tedious part. But you definitely want to do this just to keep all the dust out of your phone. I mean, it does clip on there really solid, but still, if any dust gets in there, it can really heat up and just not turn nice. And you don't want it, the same thing that happened to me with that one, where I didn't put any glue back on there and it just kind of got a little bit nasty up in there, so it decided to overheat. Processors on this phone, um, it's a Qualcomm, uh, it's a quad core, uh, 1.2 gigahertz. So that drain, it's a pretty high power processor. So it'll generate a lot of heat, especially if you have some insulating agents in there, like dust or you know whatever can possibly get in there. Um, so after we got all the screws back in, gonna pop the battery back in. Pop whatever SD card or whatever media you had in there. 
This is not a SIM card phone, so you won't have to worry about that. Pull the power button down. And as we can see, the phone boots right back up. Um, seems how I didn't actually put in a working touchscreen into this one because I haven't bought one because I bought a new phone instead. Um, it's not actually going to work, but as you can see, we didn't damage any of the interior components by doing that. So this phone is technically a working phone. We just can't actually access or touch the screen. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, just wanted to make this video just because I couldn't find any whatsoever when I was actually trying to do this the first time. I just went into it totally blind. So. Hope you guys are a little bit more knowledgeable now.